So here's the problem. We have this empty front door, and yet we have this beautiful magnolia tree out in front of our house. Absolutely gorgeous, huge thing with an excess of branches and leaves overhanging the yard. And honestly, it needs to be trimmed up and cleaned up anyway. We live in the South. I would love to bring some of that Southern charm into our decor, not just uh, fake pine, you know, plastic pine garland that obviously isn't indigenous to the area at all. Plastic isn't indigenous to any area. I mean, the pine obviously is not really, we don't have that kind of pine here. I'm realizing now that I was thinking about like getting the shot of climbing the ladder and didn't really look at the tree and realize that there's so much low-lying branches on this side that I could just, I don't need a ladder. How much is enough? You know what I'm saying? So pool noodles, pool noodles, pool noodles. It's hard to say, pool noodles, pool noodles, pool noodles, hear me out. We'll let those sit up 24 to 48 hours, right boss? The boss is out here, so don't worry, everything's gonna go smoothly now. 24 or 48, we'll see. We'll probably pull them out tomorrow, let them get, soak up some good water, and then we're gonna, we're gonna seal them up a little bit, preserve them some. I've got these zip tie holders. Screw in and then run a zip tie through them. And we're gonna use that around the door. That way we can do other door decoration treatments in the future and just cut the zip ties off and have these stay up there the whole time and like after we're done with the christmas theme i'll just paint them to be the same color you won't even notice them you might not even notice them now to be honest with you but this is kind of a cream color and these are white but yeah i can just paint over them i got some trim paint it'll work good yeah, I don't know how priscilla to says and i quote what the hell are you doing <laughs> I'm like, oh, are you making a mess? No, I need to connect the pool noodles, right? Hold yeah. this, come over here, you're my assistant. Okay. Over here. I need to connect the pool noodles together. Okay. Hold that. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. It's gonna work. Look at you. I love that it surprised you. It did. How? How? What? You come up with this stuff. I don't know. Like, That's how did cool. your brain get there? It just does. Hmm. That's yeah. interesting. <laughs> I don't know that anyone can relate. Okay, we're gonna let that stuff soak. We've got our ring over there in the other room all put together, ready to go up. And uh, we're gonna build it. Think of how like you build, you know, like the foam wreaths. We're using that kind of the same way, like a template, like a, does that make sense? A form, oh, it's a form, that's what it's called. Priscilla's over here working on the manger scene and getting the rest of the, this room's decor going. Okay, fast forward. We're gonna call this project Ballin' on a Budget because <laughs> Priscilla and I went and looked at, we picked up some uh, some decor to go on this whole door treatment situation, the whole door garland, and the prices were just astronomical. I mean, they were ridiculous. Everything we got was 50% off, but the price of garland to do this and have it that full and everything was outrageous. So it kind of turned into, you know, balling on a budget accidentally. It really just wanted the magnolia look, but then after we saw the price of everything, pff, yeah, it just makes sense anyway, even though, it's a lot of work. All right, let's go. Let's go see how it looks. Now, when I say a lot of work, keep in mind you could do this in an afternoon. It depends on how busy you are. We're pretty busy, so it feels like like it's a major commitment, you know, for us in an afternoon to do. But anyway, here's our progress. Everything has been wired up and attached to the pool noodle form. 
Um, I think it's going to work great. It, we are going to get some sag. It's going to look a little different once we once it's hanging, obviously. So I'll have to go back through and fix anything that droops a little bit. But it's a lot shinier, if you can tell, than it was because we went through a whole can of Mod Podge and I coated everything in the Mod Podge that I could get to. I think that'll help to preserve it a little bit longer and it's gonna give it kind of a shine. But you know what, if this starts to turn this brown color like you see on the back of the leaves, it's still gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be really pretty either way. So I think this is gonna be perfect. I also picked up a can of gold glitter spray and we had these pine cones. We found these on sale, they were 50% off also. And look at that, look at that shimmer that gold glitter gave them. So we want to kind of bring that gold and uh, like cream white color into the whole thing. So I had those out here drying in the sun as well. I'm an extremely impatient person. Waiting for things to dry is not my forte. So we're just going to grab it, even though the Mod Podge may not be set up per completely. Throw it up there and uh, get stuck, stuff stuck all over my hands. It's okay. My zip ties are too short. We need longer zip ties. Holy cow. That turned out so good. Uh, there's only like a couple of small spots up top to fill in. I've got some scrap over here to fill in with as, as needed. Um, and I think I need to make it a little fuller over here to match this side where it's covering the window. The only problem is it covers the You can't open the mailbox up. So, well, you can't close it once you get it open. So we'll just leave it open, it's fine. But that turned out so good. All right, so I've never done any of this before, like any of it, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm sure there's like a way to make these things, like with the stems and all that, but I don't really know the way, so we're just gonna wing it. But the thing is, so these pine cones that I did the glitter gold on, these weren't very expensive. Like I said, everything was half off, which was super nice. But the whole, like if you were to buy something that kind of like, like this type of situation, they were expensive. So this can be a whole lot cheaper. And we kind of get to make it how we want to make it too, which is nice. But they have these stems and I got a hot glue gun and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of attach these in here. That way they've got something to attach to the decor. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Is it what you envision? It is. Yeah. We did bring in a little bit of red. We had no plans for it. We bought run a little bit because we forgot like all of our, we have many wreaths for all of our windows. So. I've got some lanterns. They have red ribbons on them. Yeah. Added a little bow and, and some deco ribbon to it. So. I just bunched it up and put wire around it and make a bow. Are you so, so proud? I'm so proud. It, I'm shocked. It turned out way better than I imagined. Really? Well, I had no idea what I was doing. I had high expectations. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> we have a couple of options for wreaths. We have a magnolia wreath, like a springtime magnolia wreath that we can dress for summer. Or I have a couple of, or Christmas, I mean. Or we have a couple of um, wreath frames also, like empty wreath frames that I can make one out of magnolias as well. So we have a couple of options and then we'll just tie it all in. I'll probably put do like a red bow on the wreath yeah. so it ties in with the windows and kind of brings it all in. That's the whole plan with all this is that the front door ties into the entryway, ties into the formal room, all that. Maybe okay. Red points, maybe red and white. Red and white points that is? Yeah. All together, what do you think we have in this? Yeah. Thoughts? What do you think? How much? Well, I mean, I know how much we spent, but it's not all for this. Right. I'm thinking 150 bucks. For this? Yep. I don't even know if it's that much. 
less than 150 bucks. Yeah. Probably closer to 100 um, for everything. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. I love it. Priscilla so said we couldn't end it until we put it all together. So um, I went ahead and threw together a, a wreath right quick. It bare, the door barely closes <laughs> with the wreath. <laughs> it's so pretty. I had a big wire frame, so it worked out. I'm pretty proud of it. it turned out good. We're still gonna do some lights around it. I, I gotta get the right lights for it. But um, then these these just got bleached from the sun, so they're not that red anymore. They're more pinkish. So I'm gonna grab a rattle can of red. I think I got some in the garage. Redder. I can't wait to see it. Like yeah, you following know? the banister up. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna get some more leaves and like add them into that garland. Yeah. It's so hard to try and make that much garland to go up the stairs. Oh, out of. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was just saying. And you can't like it's so expensive to buy. Yeah. So I'm gonna just take that garland and then add some, and then we'll take the little pieces of. Perfect. Yep. Watch that's the rest amazing. of the decor on Priscilla's channel. Yeah. Check out pots, pans, and Priscilla. Thank you so much. You're the best. You are very welcome. All right, guys. We I hope you like it. You know, maybe it inspire you to do something. I, I a couple of things I learned. Like I said, I've never done anything like this. I thought that climbing up and down the ladder would be harder, but I think like bending over on the down on the ground and doing it, and then having to lift the thing up and hold it up there to get it secured was probably harder, especially if you don't have a lot of upper body strength, because um, it is heavy. Like it's you know. Maybe get a friend to help you or something. But, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably do it the way I did it again. I'll, worked out well. Another project off the list. See you guys next time. Bye.